a new generation of tobacco products is as addictive as the ones it replaced, I think. New generation of users of tobacco and nicotine. More kids and young people are using these products and they're using them more often. Here to talk about the vaping epidemic amongst teens is Dr. Minik, oh, I, I, I knew I would butcher it. Let me, let me do it. Min, Minakshi Gupta. Yes. I, I'm, I suppose you have to do that all the time, don't you? I'm sorry <laughs> yeah, about that. So yeah. talk to me a little bit about this, you know, vaping. When vaping first came out, I personally thought, oh, great, people won't be smoking cigarettes. This is better for them. It's better for, you know, for us not having to deal with cigarette smoke. But that really isn't the case, is it? Exactly. And that's the main reason why more and more young kids are getting uh, addicted to these devices. So in a vaping device, there is a liquid um, which is... Many kids think it's just water and flavoring because that's how the companies uh, disguise these uh, devices as flavoring. Um, these come in many flavorings like cotton candy or uh, fruit, gummy beers, mint or um, even Girl Scout cookies. So kids think that they're using a flavoring device and they don't even know that there is nicotine in it. And right. S See, I, yeah, I wouldn't have known that. I, w I definitely would have been on that end of it. Exactly, and these devices are so unregulated, so whenever somebody is buying that device, um, they might think that they're just buying a regular de flavoring device. Um, even if it's marketed as 0% nicotine, it still has nicotine, and more than 99% of these devices have nicotine, and the amount of nicotine in one vial is the same or even more as a regular pack of cigarettes. Really? Exactly. Yeah. So you don't even know, so there is an addictive nature to it, but you don't even realize it. Exactly, and the problem with nicotine is, like you mentioned, it's highly addictive, you yeah. know. And again, then other dangers of nicotine, you know, it can affect the brain uh, for, the, you know, for kids and teenagers, their brain is still growing, so it can have adverse effect on their development, in, on their learning. Um, no, you know, with cigarettes, there's secondhand smoke. What about with vaping? Is that a, a something for us to be worried about? Exactly. So with the vaping, yes, kids are exposed to the chemicals that come out uh, of the vape oh. uh, device. So the tiny puffs of smoke that come out or, you know, the vapors. Sure. Those have chemicals. But really, because of the way it's marketed, people think they can do it in general population where non-smoking environments, but they think it's not the same because it's vaping. But it's really just as dangerous for them and for us. Exactly. The second, it's like wow. the secondhand smoke it's right it's the same thing you, your organization heart city health located is in, lo elkhart. in elkhart indiana mm -hmm. and um this is just one of the programs that you have you have a lot of great programs there i know uh so we're so glad that you were able to come with us and be here today um you know learn more about this epidemic and the uh dangers of vaping at heart Dot org. Um, you can go to their website and check that out and learn all about it. it really is, I mean, I've learned a lot today. It's something exactly. that I didn't know. Uh -huh. And I did actually bring some few devices that I okay. just wanted to show you. So uh, these can easily be disguised as, you know, a zip drive. Oh my God, a highlighter? A, a highlighter, exactly. Oh my gosh. That looks like a highlighter, but when you open it in the back, that's a... Wow. E-cigarette and easily pass off as makeup devices. You know, right. So. That's crazy. Thank you for that. Coming <laughs> up, make plans for the weekend? Why not take a trip to New Buffalo? Details coming up on their first ever St. Patrick's Day Parade. Stay with us.